Today I'm refinishing this table. I'm going to be using it to display flowers. So if you're new to this channel and you like this project, think about subscribing. I have more, more projects on the way. So this is part of the $5 Goodwill Challenge. It is hosted by Hillary from Old World Home. And Hillary, Hillary hosts this quarterly and so check out in my description below the link to her channel as well as the playlist for everyone else who's participating in this challenge so here's my little piece it was only $2.99 at the Goodwill store so I basically I always take these things in and give them a good scrubbing and just to prepare this I am using this electric sander and this is my new favorite item it did such a wonderful job and it was so fast so quick um i couldn't believe it it was so nice so i just took off that color there because it just wasn't really i, I didn't really like that it was kind of a reddish brown sort of a dark color there so i'm covering it with this um this product this glaze which is a weather crackle glaze it goes on kind of like like glue kind of like Mod Podge and I'm just covering it and I'm I am not being particular about this because the whole look that I'm going for is rustic and weathered and farmhouse I do I want it to be inconsistent so I'm just applying it it goes on really really quickly and it dries really quickly too so this product was great because it was super fast so I let it dry for about an hour. It's still just, a, it's a little sticky, but basically it just it went on super nicely. And I'm just going to cover it with some um, basic acrylic white paint. This is a jar I've had for a long time. It's just a craft, craft paint, I think it's called. It's just acrylic. And I am just gonna cover it really quickly because this, that crackle is kind of, it's magical. It works very quickly. And so this coat of paint, it's not perfect by any means. And it's just kind of a thin coat because I still wanted to see some of the wood underneath and some of the grain from this piece. This piece is made of pine. It's very lightweight and um, it actually, because I sanded it so much, it's it smells good. It, if you like the smell of fresh pine, it smells like construction or something. I don't know. And so here it is. It's the it's an immediate look. It, I I think it's really really neat. It it just did exactly what I was hoping it would do. I think it looks really, really neat, really cool. Um, so I'm just continuing with the paint on the um, on the legs, and I'm doing coats of very thin just a thin covering kind of a dry brush oh and then I went over to the top again and just before it totally dried I just went over and kind of pulled off some of the paint so that I got a little bit more of that inconsistent um, texture on top there and so I went around and I tried to just get in the in the grooves and that um, the cracks there so that the paint was covered everywhere but it just it went on very very nicely really quick and then i did just go back over a few places so maybe i did two coats on on the um bottom there and so where i wanted a little bit more coverage i just went and added a little bit more paint yeah i just did kind of touch-ups so that it was um so that it consistently looked <laughs> inconsistent and it just went around the edges so that was pretty it for the pretty pretty much it for the paint just um did a really nice job i like this product made by valspar i got it at lowe's a while ago so check out in my description below the link to everyone else who's participating in this challenge sometimes i repeat these things now and then. I watched YouTube for a while before I realized there were playlists attached to these challenges where you could see what everyone else comes up with. So I waited about 20 minutes and just before the thing was completely dried, I went and pulled off a little bit, uh, a little bit more paint 
and just uh, cleaned off the scraper every time I used that just so that I would get um, it smoothed the paint down a little bit because it's ac acrylic it can peel up as opposed to chalk paint um, but I like the acrylic when when using that crackle product because I think it it um, reacts so quickly and so nicely so there's my little Casey girl she's helping me out today with this project and so I just pulled off the paint wherever I wanted it to kind of come off a little bit more on the legs and the top and so here it is so I'm pretty happy with this this is just kind of exactly what I thought it would be looking like I want to see a little bit of the wood showing through a little bit of that old finish underneath and um, and just have a much lighter appearance uh, so for the top I have a stencil in mind that is a circle here it's a compass and it's part of this 14 pack stencil kit that I got from Joann's a while ago and there it is it has text underneath it but I'm not going to use the text so it actually is a perfect size it's a circle the top of my table here is a square so I am centering it and so whenever I center something I center it from left to right, top to bottom, center it, uh, check it, and then I center it again. <laughs> so I try to make sure that it is as perfect as it can get. And this piece, these stencils are made of paper and so these are, um, I don't like them as much as the stencils that are really on, a, on the piece of film. I think those are easier to handle because this paper just starts to peel up a little bit. But I, I, I wasn't too worried with, about it because that is the, the look that I'm going for is, um, is obviously the, um, the weathered and the very inconsistent look. And it is a stencil. Hey, it's supposed to look like a stencil. It's not supposed to be perfect. So I'm just using a little bit of paint, a little bit of um, milk chocolate acrylic paint and I'm applying it with this little um, dauber da dapper I forget what they call it I got them at Dollar Tree and they just have a little bit of a sponge there and a, a um, flat edge on them um, I smooth flat surface to them and so it doesn't take much paint at all the uh, the way I apply the the um, stencil is just to go over it lightly so that I don't get any blobbing you know so that the paint does not go underneath the stencil so I don't have that bleed through which I still kind of got a little bit of bleed through but hey it's a stencil so I really did like two layers of the paint so that I let it dry and um, just kind of went over it again and I wound up really liking the color. I was thinking of using a blue or a light blue with this to go for kind of a nautical look, but I think the darker brown worked out really well because it just, it looks, you know, sort, sort of more rustic. And I have a, um, a piece, a glass piece that I'm going to use to put my flower arrangement in on top of this. And I think the brown will go really well because it kind of has a rusty finish to it and so I think this will be a neat piece for a corner or maybe outside on a porch or a patio for the summer um, at a shore or beach place of course it would be kind of cool so here we go so now for the reveal so I love doing that that's neat um so so I think yeah I think it worked pretty well uh, I like the uh, I like the size that was perfect actually that worked out really well and then to finish the entire piece I do a light sanding I just did a light sanding over the entire piece and particularly on top here because when um, when I sanded on top of that milk chocolate color then some of that white showed through so I thought that was really nice and it also kind of um, distresses it a little bit so you don't see the edges as much and then just for the final final piece I use I use this Kryolan um, gloss crystal clear coat on a lot of things just to seal it 
doesn't really look glossy. It just seals it. And so for the flowers today, this is always the fun part for me. Everything I do on my channel usually involves some type of flowers, fresh flowers or greenery or wreaths or dried flowers. So today I just went outside in my yard because it's spring and we have beautiful things blooming right now. And I brought in some forsythia and some um, cherry tree, some cherry blossoms that I'm gonna have. Hopefully they're gonna be blossoming soon. And so here's my little piece and that is my little um, vase or vase. I've used that as a candle holder and that I got at a garage sale for about I know it was less than five bucks. I wanna say it was like three or four bucks uh, a couple years ago. Um, so here's my final piece. So thanks Hillary for hosting this challenge. This was great fun and now I have a new little piece and some fresh spring blooms. Thank you so much for watching. Think about subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.